Oh, jeez. What? Are they our guys? What is this? What is this? It's an elevator. Should I just stand here and take pot shots? Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. You fool. Wait. Wait, it was a very bad idea for her to come along. Someone's going to turn up. They're going to start shooting us just as we get to the helicopter. You do not get a helicopter out like this unless there's going to be some kind of gun battle. Um, should we, oh, there we go. Yes, we have helicopters now. Slowly turning into a good operation. All aboard! All aboard. How did you survive? I thought you were dead. Don't remember much. Remember punching Hans Gross in the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For moments there, I thought it was going to heaven. Some falling, some pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could Ooh. barely move. Had to crawl. They found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a Kreisauer hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Infection. Ugh, these things I don't want to remember. I'm sorry about your legs. Don't be. I've learned how to fly. That was kind of cool. I just gotta say that's you know, that's a pretty awesome bit of dialogue there. And then the music just makes it even better. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> Can't they trace the helicopter? Whoa! Yes, they will. Trust me. How do they know how to fly these things? That was that was some pretty awesome moves there. We're all gonna die. Oh, oh, maybe not. Have you finished complaining? No. For now, this is top priority. What is the dot ye should? How can we get in contact with them? Anya, what do we know? Very little. But I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. Glaskovich, whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so what do you need? William, I could use your help. Could okay. You come over here for a second? I'm here. I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. <laughs> This is what the Nazis Useful. have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for a closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also... Wait. There was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Oh, God. Um, it's quite critical. What? Oh... That'll be all. We can go now. Huh. Oh, Blaskowitz has a soul and a heart. He can love. Oh, who knew? Anyway, we need to find some mold. Surprisingly, for some reason. I, I, I suppose if it's going to be in the concrete. Uh, there's going to be some around here somewhere. Let's, let's search every room. Let's do it properly. Oh, wait a minute. This is not a room I could go in before. <laughs> Find the oh I gotta find the key. Oh, oh, downstairs. Okay. Alright. So if there's gonna be any mold, it's gonna be down here, you'd think, right? This looks like a kind of a moldy place. Very wet, very damp. Somewhat kind of outside. The crazy's hangar. Indeed. Do you reckon there's gonna be mold around here? Maybe. 
there is a question mark at some point back there. So you know what? I'm going to go back in. I'm going to come back to this place at some point later because I think this is just the hangar. Like, there's nothing more interesting there than, you know, a couple of helicopters. And we've seen them. We've seen them flying and diving and swooping and, and doing all the helicoptery things. So we don't need to worry about that. Oh, but what is that? A letter. I found Bobby's letter. Uh, maybe I should read that, but maybe in a bit. Now, is there any mould in here? What the hell? Is that just piles of paper? That is just piles of paper. Um, any mould in this room? If I did take the mould, would you, like, kick off at me? Because I with that was my friend, that was. That mould, how dare you? Okay. So, I think I've established that there's no mould down here. And that is one. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, they're guns! Okay. So, it's like some sort of safety gun door. Good. Useful to have, I suppose, in a crisis. Uh, what about in the fridge? Do you need something there? No, okay, let's go and have a look upstairs. I think we've established that there's none downstairs. We do need to go to the archive room as well, which I think is up here. Uh, some... Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, okay. Fergus, I need the keys to the archives. You got them? Yeah. Hang on. Fuck! Fuck, fuck! You okay, Fergus? I'm getting old, Blasco. Much longer I can keep doing this. We'll be all right. We can still get the job done. Aye? For how much longer? What's this about, Fergus? I don't know. Nothing. Everything. It's about that boy, goddammit. Private Wyatt. He should be here instead of me. He was young. He, he had potential. He could have given us a future. You and me were two fucking mummies from the past, running on nothing but willpower. I made the wrong choice. Oh, well, that's fucking obvious, isn't it? I was ready to die. I would have done it gladly. I worked my ass off to save that boy, Blazkowicz, and you fucking pissed it away on a whim. Remember Prendergast? That fucking kid, he could endure anything. Now he's gone. They're all fucking gone. But you're stuck with this useless fucking skeleton. I mean, tell me, what's a long-term solution, eh? Who's gonna take over when we're too damn battered to strap on the horses anymore? Fucking grateful there, isn't it? <coughs> I did think that was going to come back to haunt me. I, I had a funny sneaking suspicion that I was going to come back and just bite me in the ass, You know, because I chose the old man instead of the young guy. And it's, it is. But apparently, just going by my brother's playthrough, if I did choose the young guy, I would have had to have done like a lockpick mini-game all the way through the game instead of doing that um, short-circuiting thing. Which is kind of interesting. It's like one decision in the game changes an, an entire mechanic, which, you know, as I said, interesting. So anyway, we are still looking for mould. This looks like a pretty mouldy room. Is there... Is there mould around here? Hello? Any mould? Come on. Just looking for a little bit of mould here. Just a tiny bit, not a big amount. Don't need a big amount of mould. Wait a minute, what's what's that? What's around there? There's a thing. There's a thingy thing around there. Can I get over? No, no I can't. Maybe maybe I can go round. Because I think there's a thing over. Aha! So this could lead into somewhere. No, or maybe not. <laughs> I don't think I can get through there. There was definitely a vent around there that I could use. But by the looks of things, there is no way in. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get this mould. Let's go upstairs again. Let's go as high as we can. There might be some mould up on the highest point. Oh, wait, what's that? Mould detergent. Mould detergent? Like this area clean. Okay, so this area is nice and tidy. So, obviously no mould in here. I'm going to assume... Oh, oh, I'll take another knife. I'll take three knives. Thank you very much. Could I... Can I Can I do the thingy? Let me do the throwy thing. Oh, it won't let me. Considering this is a board that I should be able to do it on, you think it let me practice there? But no. Oh, wait, wait. Can I go down here again? No, I can't, because I still can't shoot in this area. 
So, right, if they keep this area nice and tidy, then I'm going to go as far away from this area as I can. I'm going to go down to the basement. In fact, I suppose I could go down and have a look at the archives. Wait a minute, what's that? Oh, it's just a load of more posters on the wall. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, let's go and have a look at the archives. Get the things for the woman that we need to get. And it'll all be good. There's a toy truck. And uh, where is it? Aha! Give Anya the state records. Will do, will do, but not yet. Just going to have a bit of a gander around. See what I can see. No, I can't see anything. So, Anya, I have officially found the Dubris. Have you looked for the concrete sample? I haven't. I've seen some mold over there where they keep the aircraft. Oh! Wait, so there is mold over there. Damn it. Okay, so I was right the first time. I should have just gone down here anyway. <laughs> I did start going down here. Okay, so where is the mold? I'm going to try and have a look at the back. If it's going to be anywhere... Oh! We have found a piece of mold. I need a circular saw to, I need a circular saw to cut that, that off. All right. And circular saw. Whoa! Wrap all this for a piece of mold, eh? And I got my weapons back as well. Okay. So the fact that I'm allowed... To, ooh, what is that? That's that's a case. But I was going to say, the fact that I'm allowed weapons, I've got a feeling it means I'm going to be attacked. Yep, yep, I'm going to be attacked. There's, there's a gun up there. Damn it. Got it. Good, good. Now, I think there's another one on the other side. Or maybe there isn't. Or maybe there is. Um, can I short that out from here? No, I can't. Okay, looks like I'm going the long way around. Or is there even a long way around? No, there isn't a long way around. So how do I open this door? Um, I don't think I can because it has been blocked up. But there is a way round where there's a will, there's a way. It was pointless blocking it up. I found my way in regardless. Mwahaha. Um, hello? I'm starting to get a little bit worried now times like this do you get attacked by giant dogs? <laughs> do you like dogs? I don't like dogs. Not when they're trying to rip my leg off and use it as a plaything. That's a that's a fair enough point. You know, to not like the what the Okay, it was just a drip. It was just a drip. Got it, that's one. Okay, there was only one there, good. And another one of those thingies. Is there anything down here? Nope, that's a hole in the wall. For a moment there, I was thinking, oh yeah, I can shrink down. But I was like, wait, no, that's South Park. I cannot shrink down. <laughs> Completely the wrong game. I'll take that. I've got a shotgun, some shells. I will take all these shotgun shells. What the hell? Oh, crap. Get back. And another one. Okay, so those things can be killed in one with this thing. Got it. Okay, maybe not exactly in one, but two perfect shots seems to take it down. Don't tell me these things are infinite. Because there's no possible way that you can have an infinite amount of these in a sewer system. Got it. And another one. Fandango, or whatever word you would like to use to describe that situation. <laughs> maybe Fandango, whatever the hell that means. I know Grim Fandango. That was a fantastic game. Fandango? Not really sure what that means. I'll take that. <coughs> and I'll just peek my head out. I think I was supposed to have fought all those things along this corridor. I think maybe that's what it's doing. Is it? Oh yeah, you were supposed to have fought those things along there. You killed them all in one shot from the end. Well, I suppose one shot, but a couple of shots from the end. Oh crap. Got it. How many shots do I have left? I think I have like one shot. Oh dear. Bitch, back off. I have no time for your silly buggers. But I don't have any charge left. So I'm going to have to use the shotgun. Oh. Got some more charge. And anything else? Wait, have I been here? No, I don't think so. Hello, hello. 
opens from the other side. Ah, oh, bloody open from the other side doors. I was constantly running into those in Dark Souls. So those bloody doors frustrate me. It's like fucking other side again. God, why can it never be this? Why can't they be two, you know, swinging doors? Both ways. <laughs> like a door should be. In, out. Not these one-way silly doors. Although, you know, the front and back of my house have the exact same doors, but still. We all need to live in, I don't know, barns. Now anyway, what am I looking for? I think this was the way up, did we? Did we succeed in escaping the sewers? I assume we did, because we just climbed up a ladder. Yes, we have done it. New objective. Cut the sample of the concrete. So, I need to jump down. Right, down we go. Last quit. Don't go too. Oh, 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 very close. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, howdy. How's it going? You good today, gentlemen? Especially you, my, my flat-headed friend. You, sir, are a legend captain of industry. As they would say. Now, anyway. Where was this thing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It was right here. They're standing right now. You're going to get ill. I'm sorry, but you're standing next to that. It's going to happen. Okay. Right, let's cut ourselves a sample. Because we, of course, couldn't use a uh, knife. Are you doing? Science project. Are you scaring Max? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, pal. Didn't know we'd flip out like that. That his son? No. Well, kind of. I don't know. So not his son. Used to be Klaus had a son, born during the war. A miracle, he called it. They so had tried for years to have a child, him and his wife. Yeah, well, he'd make a pretty good father. For a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. The wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Damn. Klaus could not protect them. So he blames himself. I think so. Ooh. But he will never forgive the Nazis. Well, we've got that guy's backstory. And it's a pretty grim backstory. You know, I'd fight by the Nazis by, by his side any day. You know? An honorable man. Anyway. Maybe check on Max. So, so I should check on Max. Okay. So I suppose Max is probably going to be in his room. Unless, unless he's down here somewhere. Yeah, but it looks like he's in his room. Or at least, well, there's no objective here, so... That's what I'm going to surmise. So to Max's room. Du -du 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 -du. Should be just a run up the stairs. I'm starting to figure out my way around this little HQ. It's not that big once you get used to it. So it should be right up here and across the hall to Max's room. No. Wait a minute. Wait, so this... No. No, that's a bike shed. Aha, there we go. Hello, Max. How's it going? Is he alright? Okay, well, he just seems to be sleeping. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to interrupt a man while he's sleeping. I'm going to leave him there to be. <laughs> just in case he gets up and kills me or something. He does look pretty big and scary, like the kind of person that would be freakishly strong if he got angry. So I'm just going to, you know, stay away. Thank you, William. Give me some time to analyze this. I think I'm onto something. Okay. Gum? It's good. Chatty? Nah. I'm good, thanks. Uber Concrete. Uber the Concrete. The essential building material of the Reich. It's based on a dot issue technology. It's almost perfect, but it's deteriorating through time, developing mold. Someone is tempering with a mix. Someone who knows its secrets. I analyzed it and found a trace of this type of limestone that exists only in northern Croatia. Now, Look at this. The name Set Roth. It appears three times in dot e shoot documents. According to official records, he's been detained in 1941 in Łódź and sent off to a forced labor camp in Belice in northern Croatia. Now, this is where things get interesting. The labor camp excavates limestone from a quarry for a manufacture of Uba concrete. I believe this is the place where we'll find Set Roth. 
living member of that Egypt. The problem oh. is, there are so many unknowns. This is an old man, chances are he's dead already. We can't assault a site of this magnitude and hope to locate him before the whole damn Nazi army arrives. So what is the plan? Someone needs to go in there and find him. Go undercover. <laughs> Any volunteers? Oh, 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 it's gonna be me again, isn't Ready it? This, I didn't even volunteer for God's sake. I just sat here in silence. So stupid. I was arrogant. No one is ever ready for something like this. Like what? Where are we going? Oh god. Wait, she might recognize me. Possibly and take me out of the crowd. What is she doing with a baby? Evil, evil witch. If I look at her, if I look directly in her eyes, yeah. Punk? Ah, I'm angry. And it's that guy as well. Bro, Engel, what's with him here? You recognize me. Come on, come on. Recognize me. This one. Okay, alright. Well, we made it out of the whole gas chamber line thing. The doom of doom. Doomly doom. I do not want to, sir. That's one thing I'm not doing. So, what are we going to do? Anything? No? I don't think he. I don't think he wants to say anything. I, th I think he's just going to sit there until I place my arm in that machine. I'll do it in a minute, buddy. I'll do it in a minute. But before I do that, I'm going to end that one there, guys. So thanks for joining me in this episode and the last and the one before that of Wolfenstein The New Order. I hope to see you in the next one. And as ever, if you did enjoy this video, you could always leave a like down below and a comment if you will. So anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Yes, I get it. Right arm in the machine.